tests are increasingly reliable. So typically the test is done from a, a blood sample, but um, I think nowadays you can get DNA from just a cheek swab or a saliva sample. Uh, but most children, in order to get enough DNA now, we still do ask for a, a blood test. So that gets sent to a lab. Now those labs um, are in most countries what we call accredited. So, they're te so the labs have to go through their own tests to make sure that, the, um, that what they're doing is reliable. And what they do is they look at the genetic code and they look to see whether there's a change in the genetic code, particularly in the SCN1A gene. Now you can these days send a test for just one gene, but more commonly a test is now sent for a whole panel of epilepsy genes. And there are new techniques called next generation sequencing that allow you to test lots of genes at the one time and also allow you to test the genes in more detail than we could um, in the past. So the tests are very reliable. Um, the tests would come back to your doctor and then if they're positive then your doctor would typically then ask a geneticist to help interpret those tests. Um, and I think the best way of seeing a child with a genetic epilepsy is for the doctor who's looking after the epilepsy to do a joint clinic with one of the genetics doctors. Um, and then they can together explain the medical part, the treatments, the nature of the condition, and also the nature of the genetic change and what that means.